to him and to hear a word from the Lord. Everybody say, like, your word from the Lord. Well, we definitely need that. And so we want to use this time as a time to pray. And so you all come on in. I see Evangelist Pam Craddock. You're finally home now, Evangelist Pam. We thank God for you. Uh, Sister Jordan, I see you. We thank God for you. Joan King, I'm just calling out names that I see here online. Uh, Joanne Myers, and then there are those who are here in person. Make some noise. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we also want to acknowledge those who are on the phone conference. And so we just uh, just want to come together and pray. And I know that I have some prayer warriors out there. Can the church say amen? I know we have some warriors out there. And you all know we always quote that scripture. If my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive them of their sins, and heal the land. And how many of you all know that we need healing? We need God to heal our land, to heal our hearts, to heal our bodies, just to restore us back to what he desired us to be and to do. And so I have some prayer words right here amongst us, and so um, in the, here in the house, and so we're going to just go person by person, we're going to pray, and we ask for you all to pray with us, and to also send us uh, prayer requests. We'll try to catch as many as we can. Uh, for the time of prayer um, and, and write them so that when we come together, I can ask someone to text me. You can text me at 312-543-6197 uh, and I'll try my best to get as many prayer requests as possible as well as on Facebook Live. You can write, I would actually recommend that you write them on Facebook Live so that when the people see it, they automatically start praying. And so what uh, inspired me uh, to uh, come up with the theme, uh, get out the kitchen and let's pray. It was really, really the Wednesday morning Bible study uh, this fall. Uh, Sister Lily and some others who know we were speaking of the book of Revelations, and so I won't get into all the details of that, but while we were uh, talking and uh, going over the lesson and the word of God, uh, that's the theme that came to my heart. Get out the kitchen and let's pray. And you all know it comes from that scripture in Luke chapter uh, 10. We'll turn that really quickly. Luke 10 verses 38 through 42. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. You all know about that story of, of Mary and Martha. And uh, it was a little sibling rivalry going on here. I, that's what I love about the Word of God is its authenticity. And it tells the truth about us. And so here in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42, they're having Jesus over for dinner. And so I'm sure if any of us had Jesus come over for dinner, we wanted to make sure we lay it out, right? And so Martha wanted to make sure she impressed Jesus, took care of Jesus and the disciples. Um, but the problem is that Mary wasn't in the kitchen with her. So this is the scripture. Let's read it. Verse 30, verses 38 to 42, he says, As Jesus and his disciples were out, well, uh, out, or should I say, on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work all by myself? Mm. <laughs> Tell her to help me. And Jesus responds by saying, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. But only one thing, someone say one thing, one, one thing. thing is needed. And Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. And so you all know the point. It's very obvious here that uh, Martha was working in the kitchen uh, when she had the opportunity to be at Jesus' feet. And I love how the story ends. It, it ends with in a way where it's, it's, it's open. We don't know how Martha responded after Jesus' response. But we, what we do know is that Martha had the option of leaving the kitchen and sitting at Jesus' feet. 
And so that's the option that I present to you all in the midst of this busyness that we all fall prey to, that we all, including me, are guilty of. We tend to be overwhelmed with things that the Lord never told us to do. And so in all our busyness, we forget to sit at Jesus' feet and listen. And so that's what we desire to do in prayer. Prayer is a dialogue where we not only speak to God, but God speaking to us. And so we're going to ask you all to pray with us now. And so I'm going to ask uh, Harold to come and to uh, pray. And uh, when I think about that, Harold, maybe you can pray for the community. And we pray as the Lord leads you. But when we think about what's happening in our community, the violence, uh, the amount of uh, carjackings, uh, it's caused a real trepidation in many of us because we've never seen anything like this. And so pray with us as Harold leads us in prayer in regards to our city and our community. Thank you, Pastor. <clears throat> thank you, Pastor. Um, thank you for everyone out there in, in the virtual land and everyone that's here today. Um, I'm very, before I pray, I definitely want to uh, say this is very important. I'm happy that the Lord gave Pastor Sutton this vision. Prayer is so well needed in our community. Every single day, don't believe the others that say it doesn't work, it works, it's proof. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us today to be here in your presence, Father God. We ask, Lord, that we'll be focused on the things that you would want us to be focused on, Lord, that we just be determined to change the ways of the world out here, Lord. Yes. People are suffering, Father God. They're hurting, Lord. They're depressed. Our children yes. don't know what to do. They're turning to drugs and alcohol and so many other things, Father God. The mental state of our people Lord, we ask, Lord, to help those that are homeless, Father God, that don't have a roof over their head. Lord, we just ask that you would comfort them and keep them, Lord. Yes, Lord. We want you, Lord, to just help the sick and those that are afflicted right now, Father God, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual, Lord. Let them know you, that you are the only way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus Christ is the only way. Father God, please keep yes, us in safe, Lord. Watch our children. As they go back and forth from school and walk in the communities, Lord, folks are scared to stand on the bus stop. Our seniors are worried about their own homes and their own safety of their children, Father God. We pray, we cry out, Lord. We need you. Yes, Lord, we need you. There's so much corruption going on in the world, Lord. We ask, Lord, to pray for our leaders throughout the city and throughout the world today, Lord God, that you would touch them, Father God, and give them the direction that they need. We ask, Lord, that you would just forgive us of all our sins and unrighteousness, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Please keep us, Lord. We just need you, Father God. We know we need you, Lord. There's no way without you. We ask, Lord, that you remove the hurt from the mothers, Lord, those that have lost their kids in the streets, Father God. Have mercy. The fathers, Father God. We ask, Lord, that we would be examples to the young men and women out here to let them know that you're the best way and only way there is, Father God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Those Lord. drinkings and drugs are just a temporary high, Father God. The greatest high is you. Yes. Yes. Let us, God. We yes, need you, Lord. Lord. None of us are perfect, Father God, but we know that we just want to be directed and, again, listening to what you have to say. Yes. Lord, we do ask, Lord, that we will get deep into the word of God, that we yes, become Lord. studiers of your word and doers of yes. your word, Father yes. God. Yes. Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to just protect us, protect keep us safe, Father God. Yes, we need you so much. I'm so concerned about so many people in the world, where their mind state is right now. Yes. During this pandemic, it's been rough. People have been separated from families, Father God. We have children that are getting shot in the home, Father God, resting. Yes, They're getting shot on the expressway, Father God. We know that's not right. Yes, Lord, stop it. We need to, you, God, we just have to make sure that people just start loving each other once again. Yes, Let's be a community, Father God. Let us be steadfast in our prayer like Nehemiah, Lord. We just want you to just continue to bless us like you've always done. We want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, Father God, for us. You brought us a long way, and we know it, Father God, and let us not take it for granted. We ask these things and many others in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you, Carol. As we meditate, and as you all are praying, I know you're praying now. Just continue to be in prayer, even right where you are, whether you're at home, on a job, whether you're here at the church, or somewhere in your prayer closet. Just to be praying even now. Even if you're able to get on your knees and pray. Yeah. Lift up your hands and worship. Desiring to hear from the Lord. So even as Harold prayed, may we reflect. Continue to be in prayer. So when I think about that, I'm going to ask for. Minister Janae, if you would mind to kind of continue to pray for uh, the youth. Pray as the heart as the Lord leads you in your heart. Then after which, even for your mom to come afterwards and to pray, God no works in the school system. And so may we come right now. Thank you so much, Minister Janae. coming to you, Father God, just thanking you for who you are. Lord, you are a good God, Lord. Lord, we just give your name all the praise and all the glory, Father God. Yes, Lord. Because you are truly worthy to be praised. Lord. Yes, oh God. Lord, you are a great God, Father God, and we want to remember who you are, Lord. Lord, we're just coming to you in prayer, Father God, just asking uh, to bless the Bread of Life family, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please be with us, Father God. Through our many trials and tribulations, Lord, you know what's on the hearts of your people, Lord. Lord, we're just coming to seek you and to seek your face, Lord. Because, Lord, these are trying times, Father God, and we're just coming, Father God, for a word, from a word from you, Lord. And, Lord, we're just praying for the community that we're in, Lord. We're praying, Lord, that people will stop getting shot down, people will stop getting uh, traumatized by the streets, Father God, and unbroken homes, Lord. Lord, we're just praying for the households in our neighborhoods, Lord, that they will be whole, Lord, that you will fill the households with uh, fathers, fathers, Lord, present fathers, present mothers, Lord, and uh, school systems, Lord, that are serving the communities, Father God. I pray for the school systems, Lord, that they will serve our children in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. And I pray for the Chicago uh, Police Department, Lord, that yes. you be with them and keep them and guide them, Lord, from all har- hurt, harm, and danger, Lord, because they need you as well, Lord, uh, dur- during these trying times. Because, Lord, there's so much violence and there's so much hatred and anger out there, Lord, uh, between the police department and between the communities, Lord. But I pray there would be reconciliation, Father God, yes. between yes, the police Lord. department and between our communities, yes. Lord, yes, Lord, and between all yes. other uh, races of people, Lord. We pray for the prejudice that is in the city of Chicago, Lord, Have that you will break mercy. down the barriers, Lord, mercy, that people Lord. will get to understand one another, Father God, people will get to love one another, Lord, yes, Lord. that we won't judge one another just based on what we see and what we hear, Father God, but we will actually get to know who Uh, people are, Lord. And I just pray, Father God, that uh, you be with the bereaved families, Lord, because you know that people are uh, struggling, Father God, God. with their uh, feelings and their emotions with the loved ones that they lost, concerning the loved ones that they lost, Lord. But you are a comforter, Lord. And I pray, Father God, that you will just comfort them with everything uh, that they need emotionally, Lord. You know what they need, Lord. And I pray, Father God, uh, that you will just heal those who are sick. Father God, heal their bodies. Yes, oh God. There's so much suffering because of the COVID virus, Father God. And we know, Father God, that we have to seek you, Lord. Seek you because there is so much disease going on, Father God. And we know that we have to seek your face and that you will uh, 
Take away, Lord, this virus, Father God. I pray that the church will turn to you, Lord. Yes. We won't turn to yes. our wicked ways, Father God, our ungodly ways, Lord. But that we will serve you, Lord, with all of our hearts, Father yes, God. Lord God. Mm, and we're just praying, Lord, for uh, repentance right now in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord. Yes. That we will understand what it means to truly serve you, Lord. To truly walk with you, Lord, every yes, single day. Yes, because the Lord devil God. is busy, Lord. Yes. He is on our trails, Father God. These are times where uh, the end times are approaching, Lord. And we're just praying, Lord, that yes. you will give us special strength, Father God. That the Holy Spirit will be with us and we will understand, Lord, uh, the power of the Holy Spirit yes. and your word, Lord. Yes, and we will walk God. accordingly in the yes, name of Jesus God. because you have all power, Lord. All power. All power. And the devil has some, but you are more powerful than yes. anything that yes, we yes, see, yes, Lord. Yes. And we just power. praise you for that, Lord. All that power. we can come to you, Father God, because you are almighty, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, we Lord. give your name all the praise yes. and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Minister Janae. And even as Sister Davis comes, Rob comes, who's working on the front lines, um, um, working in the school system, another teacher working in the school system, um, we know that um, we want to pray for our children and their protection in the midst of this virus, and now for our children, but for our teachers who are working. So I'm gonna ask for you to just come. God bless you. Let us continue in the spirit of prayer. Oh God, I come to you with somewhat of a heavy heart. And we come today, oh Father God, with heavy hearts. God, just have mercy on us. Yes. God, have mercy on us. Please, oh Lord, have mercy on us. God, we are faced with this plague, with this COVID-19. God, have mercy on us. Forgive us, Lord of our iniquities, cleanse us of our sins. Oh, Father God, we come before you. God, asking you for your forgiveness, oh God. Oh God, help us, oh God, to remain strong in you, to remain strong in the Lord, in you, Lord, and in the power of your might, oh God that we may be able to stand against all of the wiles of the enemy, against the wiles of the evil one, oh God. Oh God, forgive us. Be with us, Lord, have mercy on us. Oh God, I just pray for the children. Oh Father God, especially those right now who are suffering with COVID-19, oh God. Heal their bodies, oh God, have mercy, oh God. Oh, Father God, I pray for those children who have lost their mother, their father, their sister, their brother due to COVID-19. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just pray that you'll have mercy on them. Yeah. Oh, Father God, be with them, oh God, because Lord, we know that you are a God of all mercies and you are the God of all comfort, oh God. Oh, Father God, be with the children as they are in school, oh God. Help us, help us, Father, to be in school together. Help us, help the children, help the teachers to not affect one another, but to affect one another, Father, for good, oh God. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray, oh Father God, for a spirit of protection around the children as they go out and as they come in, oh God, from school. We pray for your spirit of protection around the teachers and staff as they help the children, oh God. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will help the parents 
and the families of the children, Lord. Father God, let them be able to work, oh God. Let them be able, Father God, to help their children as they help one another, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for your presence. We thank you, oh God, for your peace. We thank you, Lord, for all of your righteousness. We thank you, oh Lord, for your protection, God. For God, you are God who protects his people, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are a fence around us and that you will help us every day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, oh God, at Bread of Life to keep encouraging, we will continue to encourage one another, that we will continue to help one another. God, we just thank you, Lord, for this pastor who have put, you put it on his mind to be able to pray for the community, to have prayer for the community, to have the prayer for the schools, prayers for the young people, prayers for those who are, who are having a hard time, oh God. Father God, we pray, oh God, that you will continue to be with us. Protect us, oh God. Be with us, oh God. And as we continue, we will continue to give your name the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah! Thank you! 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 You all pray for Leslie. She was with her daughter, too. She just moved into the community, seeking a place to worship. And so you all just keep her in your prayers. And see, that brings into my spirit a need for a revival in our community, in our city. And I think about Carol Marshall, who would walk the streets and head up uh, a group of us to walk the streets. God will move every time, wouldn't he, Carol? Yes. And so I'm going to ask for Carol to come. And uh, she uh, prays the Lord lead. Uh, but the focus on us needing a revival. Come on, Carol. Bless you. Such a privilege to pray yes. to our Almighty God who hears and answers our prayers. Yes. So as we look to Him, Father God, Your Word teaches us so much. Yes. Your Word tells us to just come to Your throne boldly yes. and ask. You said we don't have because we don't ask. Yes. So tonight you have heard some of the cries of Your people. We know that you hear and that you answer. Oh God, we do need a revival. And I think you've already started it with all of us. Yes. With the COVID and with so many, so many things for us to pray for. So many people. Yes. So many organizations to pray for, oh God. And I pray that your spirit will move like never before. Yes. Starting yes. here at Bread of Life and yes. moving abroad, abroad to Afghanistan and yes. to all the places that Thank the hurricane you. has hit. And those people are, are devastated, God. Please, oh God. They need a revival. Yes. And it's time yes. for a revival. Yes. We know that Satan has blinded the people so that they won't know the truth. Mm -hmm. But tonight I come asking you that you would remove the, uh, the blinders yes. and that you would let yes. them see. Open their eyes, Father, yes. so that they can see that you are the way, yes. the truth, and the life. That no man can even come to the Father unless they come through Jesus. Yes. And I pray for those who don't know that, that you will revive them and that you will show them the way, Father. 
We know that you love us so much that you sent your son to die for us. Yes, yes. Of such a cruel yes. death. And oh God, that we know that he loves us and he will never leave us. And we pray that he will dispatch angels throughout this land, wherever it's needed, in the hospitals, in the communities, in the gang members' meetings, God. Yes. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing. And you can Nothing revive anybody. Those who are in schools and those who are on the police force. Yes, oh God. Those of us who have been serving you a long time. I pray that you will continue to revive our spirits, God. That we will continue to look to you, look to the heels from which come in our help. Yes, Lord. We know that all of our help comes from you. God, we know that you are a God who a God of forgiveness and a God of patience, yes. and a God of mercy, a God of grace. And we all need it right now, God. Yes. And uh, as our pastor has been so wise to see the need, and yes. you touched his heart, yes. I pray that your spirit will continue to move yes. from person yes. to person, yes. the unbelievers and the believers. Yes. Revive our souls, revive our hearts, Thank God. You, Lord. And that you would get the glory out of yes. all of this. Thank you, Lord. Because we know we can do nothing Yes. without you. Yes. So tonight, we look, we search, and we know, God, we call out to you, and we know that we're going to get some answers. Yes. We yes. know that you're yes. healing people right now. Yes. You're reviving people right now, Lord. And we are grateful. Our relatives who don't know you, you're going to open up their eyes one day, God. Yes. And I'm so grateful to that. that, that so many religions are saying that there's there's so many ways to you, but as I said earlier and as I close, Lord, you have said that Jesus is the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Thank you, Lord. And we pray all these blessings in your precious name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Anybody believe that God can oh, do better than that? I believe God. I believe God is in the midst of the praise and right there where you are. Praise I do believe the Bible says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving yeah. in your heart. Anybody have thanksgiving in their heart? The letter is pleasing a noble for him and his peace. And I believe you know that God is able to keep uh, your mind in peace. Those whose minds are stayed on him. Anybody believe that? Yeah. That peace that is beyond understanding. That's what he said. If you let your request be made known to him, his peace, which extends it far excels anything that our rational minds can comprehend. Yeah. And they want to keep yeah. our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I can't help but think about in the midst of the storm, and Jesus says, peace. Be still. Yes, yes. So that's my prayer for us. Uh, continue to keep uh, Evangelist Pam, Evangelist Pam Craddock. She said to pray for my brother, Leonard Craddock Jr. And so he wants to, please, we want to intercess for her and her brother. Uh, Joanne Myers, uh, praying for everyone. Uh, Sandra Pierce says, praying for, I think it's the Gamillion family and a sister and mom who went on to be with the Lord, so pray for the family during their grief. Uh, Duval London says to pray for uh, his nephew, David Robinson, so we want to be in prayer. Um, Joan King says to, or asks for us to pray for our cousin, Kenny, and his wife, and four children, uh, all have uh, the COVID-19 virus, and so praying for healing, uh, in the name of the Lord. And uh, Clemmy Greer says, keep praying for me and my family and those who are in need of it. And so we, we want to continue to pray for healing. We do believe that God's a God of healing. Anybody believe that? Anybody yeah. believe that? Yeah. And so we want to continue to be in prayer. So I know my wife, she has such a hard time at work, but I'm just going to ask if she wouldn't mind just to come and to uh, pray for uh, those who deal with the virus. I think about so many who are on the front lines and uh, many medical scientists, and many are being persecuted for telling the truth. Yes, um, yes. And so we just want to be in prayer uh, for them who are working on the front lines. So I'm going to ask the first lady to come. 
and just to pray uh, for those who are working on the front lines. Uh, would you mind? Yes. Thanks. Thanks so much. as we continue in prayer. Lord, we just want to thank you that we are here today, God. Yes. We thank you for the survivors of the virus. Yes. yes. We so often talk about those who have died, but Lord, we thank you for those who have survived. Yes, yes. Um, and I, as I even stand here now, I, I think about those who have survived because they live to tell how needed it is for us to be obedient yes. to those who know about the virus. Yes, yes. Lord, I yes. pray right now um, as, as we have come to understand that what we see now really is a battle for the heart. Mm -hmm. um, as Pastor has stated, this is not only a, a virus that attacks the body, but I, I say, God, that this is the virus that has attacked the heart. Yes. That we no longer see this as a public health issue, but as a political one, yeah, which, is, which is a heart issue, God. Yes. Lord, and I pray right now that your spirit would reign in the hearts of your people. Yes. And that is yes, where Lord. the true healing needs yes. to start. Yes. Lord, as, as we continue to hear story after story of those who have been not only infected but affected by the virus, God, I pray, Lord, that we would listen with a level of discernment, God, yes. that will reach us to the point that we care not only about us, but those that we are in contact with. That we not be selfish, mm -hmm. but that we be earnestly aware of those that we love and want to see live and thrive. Yes. Lord, I pray for anyone right now that's struggling to breathe because of the virus, God. I pray, Lord, that you will go into each and every hospital that is at capacity right now, struggling to determine who to treat and who not to treat, God. I pray for those who risk their lives every day to help those who are suffering. Yes. Yes. What an awesome task to yes, go Lord. into the belly of the beast uh -huh. and show love to the one that no one else can visit. Yes. Have, mercy, yes. have mercy, God. Have mercy, God. Lord, I pray for the ones who have been orphaned yes. by this horrible virus, lost mother and father. Yes. For the family that must now care for those children. Lord, I just pray that you would open our eyes. Yes, that you would prick our hearts, oh God, for us to be obedient yes. to what it is you would have each and every one of us to do. Yes, oh God. It's a heart issue. And I pray right now, God, that you would touch the hearts of your people. Lord, you are calling us to seek you. And I believe more people now than ever are seeking you. Yes. And we need to be standing in a place of receptance of those people who yes. want to know more about yes. you. Yes. Not only yes. is this virus taken, it has given. It yes. has given us the opportunity, God, yes, to speak your word, to affirm our faith in you, oh God, and to live as you would have us to live. Lord, I pray that you would just go into each home right now where there's someone sick that doesn't even know they're sick. Mm. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. I pray you would go into each school, God, 
Yes, Lord. That you would touch each and every person that's now afflicted with the virus. Give them hope. Yes, Lord. Help the leaders to know what to do to stop the spread. Lord, we praise you right now. I thank you for the vaccine. Now, there are some who criticize, but I thank you. I thank you. And while we're praying for something else, Lord, you gave us something. Yes, yes, you did. And I pray that we acknowledge your hand in that. Yes. This is your hand. Yes. But if we're not obedient, we suffer. Yes. And I pray, Lord, that the suffering will stop. Yes. Yes, the Lord. fighting, I don't want it, I want it, will stop. Yes. yes. That we will come together and say, let us all be well mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Touch our hearts, oh God. And as you touch our hearts, our minds change. Yes, Lord. Be with us, God. Help us to be the pillars that you would have us to be those who are called, all of us are called to your yes. purpose. Yes. yes. And I pray, Lord, that we will walk in it. We thank you and we bless you for what you've done and what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you for your presence. Amen. As we are in the spirit and time of prayer, it's not always just talking, but it's uh, listening. Just listening to God. Listening to what He has to say to us. And even as we were studying in the book of Revelations, he spoke to the church in Ephesus and he complimented them on the things they did well. But then in that process he said, I have one thing against you. Yes. Have mercy. You right. left your first love. Mm. All right. All right. And he yes. spoke to the church mm. about leaving their first love and so he told them to Remember from where they have fallen, how far they have fallen. To remember, to go back to how God brought them through in yes. the beginning. Yes. And then he emphasized this, to repent. Yes. Yeah. Um, even in the scripture that we talk about all the time, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and, and pray and seek my face. He also says, turn from their wicked ways, which is another way of saying, repent. Yes. Yes. And he and in these times he's talking to the church, to his chosen people. And so um, I believe that in scripture it's very clear that he not only calls the unchurched to repentance, but also the church. Yeah. Yes. And that we must live lives with the heart and spirit of repentance when the Lord speaks truth to us. Yes. And so I'm asked for Tiffany to come and, and she just prays the Lord leads her. But even pray for the Lord to give us a heart and, and uh, of humility be willing to repent yes, so that the land may be healed. Yes, Lord. Come on, Tiffany. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes. Oh, God, we are so grateful to just have your presence here. Yes. yes. We just take this moment just to honor you and give you the glory for what you so richly deserve. God, we love you. We honor you. We appreciate you. We thank you for being just you. We thank you for always being you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
We thank you for just being from the, here from the beginning all the way to the end and seeing us through, oh God. Yes. Yes. We thank you for never leaving us, oh God, or turning your back on us, God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for loving us so much that you gave your one and only son, God. We, many of us learned the scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, God. Yes. And we take that spirit, that scripture for granted, God, but you loved us so much that you gave your only son. Yes. He loved you to come to us to save us, God. You thought so much of us to save us. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. And God, we know that we have to repent, which means turn from the things. Turn, yes. make changes, make yes. a turn, God. Yes. Do a 180, God. Turn from those things, God. And just because we've accepted you, God, and we've acknowledged that we were sinners, God, we still struggle, and you know that, oh God. And I thank you for just being a God, chance after chance after chance, for giving us, God. Yes. Soften our heart, oh God. Let us not be bitter, God. Yes. Because we are the church, God, and if we are yes. like that, the young church don't want to be a part of us. Yes. Help us to be kind, help us to be loving, help us to be forgiving, God. If we can't forgive each other, you can't forgive us, oh God. Yes. God, we apologize, we are sorry yes. for the way we have treated your people. It is our job to show them the love that you have graciously given us day after day. Yes, yes oh Lord. We have taken you for granted as your people. Yes. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us. We have the privilege to share your word with others. We have the privilege to pray in public. We have the privilege to share your word. Yes. And we have done you wrong, oh God. Yes. Yes. People are dying because they don't know you, God. In other countries, they can't even mention your name and they're persecuted, God, but you have blessed us not to do that. Mercy. Mercy. Allow us to be bold for you, oh God. Yes, yes. So many people will know you because of us, because of the life that we live. Yes, Lord. And we don't want to be hypocrites. We choose you, God, because you chose us. Yes. Thank you for loving us when we were unlovable. Yes, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us, God. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for protecting us and going into places that we had no business going into, but God, you kept us. Yes, you did, Lord. Thank you, And you continue to keep us, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing our minds, God. Keep our minds, oh God. So many of the church people are hurting. Hurt people, yes. hurt people. God, I ask that you just heal our hearts. Heal us from the inside out, God, so we can do the job that you have called us to do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us learn to repent. Yes. Not just say, I'm sorry, and do the same thing over and over again and take your forgiveness for granted, oh God. Yes. Change our hearts, change our minds. Change us, oh God. Change us, oh God. Please. We know that you won't return until everybody has the opportunity to hear about you, God. Yes, yes oh Lord. Yes. God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for our pastor. We even just had the um, vision for this. We thank you for giving him the vision, oh God. Yes, oh, Lord. And yes, sharing Lord. his hope with God and trusting the those to yes, pray, God. God. Thank you for bread of life, oh God, has been a part of many, many people's lives, who changed many people's lives, and will continue to. Yes, Lord. Yes, oh Lord. As the years to come, help us to be better. Help us to be the people that you want us to be, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Hallelujah. We thank God. Pray. We pray for our church. We thank God for it will be 50 years on October 3rd. Yeah. Come on, give God some praise. 50 years of service. So let's see. I see a couple of our deacons here, so I'm going to ask for Deacon Tyrone to come and then pray for our church as the chairman of the deacon board. And just to pray. Um, pray for us as we are ministering in.
COVID-19 uh, pandemic in the midst of this by the time to continue to pray. There are so many churches that's closing. I know there's businesses that were once open and are now closed. Yes. And so yes. we believe that God's church is a movement. Anybody believe that? Yes. And so we're able to adjust and adapt and continue to proclaim the word of God. So I'm going to ask for uh, Deacon Tyrone, Mr. Chairman, to come and pray as well as Deacon Reggie. His holy name. Yes, bless his holy name. He, he has led me to a scripture in his Luke, first chapter, 10, through the, the first part of the 13th verse. He said, And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at a time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and he was filled. He fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for thy prayer is heard. Mm -hmm. Right now, this Father, we just want to let you know that we thank you for hearing our prayer. Father, for those, for those who don't hear you, Father, we ask that you would give them that third ear. Where well, the two carnal ears, oh Father God, will be cold, but that third ear will be opened up to receive and be receptive to you. Yes. Father, we, we've heard a lot of prayers and we know that we are in need of your help. Yes, Lord. Father, we talk about our physical body and we talk about the ailments and the diseases, but Father God, right now I want to talk about that mental disease. Father, we kind of lean away from that, Father, but some of us are so stressed out that we can't even talk about what hurts us. But Father, I know right now that all we got to do is come to you in prayer. Yes. Father, we come right now standing in the need. Yes. Sometimes we stand in the need for intercessors, but sometimes we meet, we forget to stand in need because we are in need. Yes. Father, yes. You, you, you said this church and you placed on my heart a long time ago. You said you're about to open up the doors and the people that's going to come in that we need to be receptive to what their needs are. Yes. But Father, we first have to know what your will is for us so that we can meet the needs of your people. Amen. Father, yes. we come right now just praying. Father, uh, you know, we, we, we go to a lot of things and I, I just say I'm going to thank you for last week when you allowed me to be with the, found, with the family up on the mountain, Father, to gaze upon your glory. But Father, when you brought me down, you said don't forget about those who are not able to come. Yes. Father, though, those who wish they could celebrate with their families, those that are in the hospitals and the, and the nursing homes. Because my daughter told me, she said, Daddy, there are some in the nursing home. People don't even come to visit. Oh, Father, we, we want you to just go visit them, oh God. Yes. Touch them right now, God. Let them know oh, that you're still in control. Yes. So even when, when the family don't come, you, you said that you would be a father yes. to the fathers. Yes. And the mother to the mothers. And I know, Father, because I'm, I'm one that you heal, that you can be a healer. Yes. Even when the doctor said there's nothing else they can do. Yes. Father, I, I thank you right now for allowing me to be a witness to your grace. Yes. Now, Father, we come, I'm going to ask you right now, Father, that you will continue to touch past. Yes. Yeah, give him the guidance of God, the understanding, the leadership to lead us in your word of God. I was just speaking with one of the sisters about Revelation. I've been to a lot of churches where they, where they don't talk about Revelation, one or two books, one or two mm. verses, then they'll run from it. Mm. I'm glad that you placed on the pastor's heart that we're going to walk through Revelation. Because yeah. you're trying to reveal yeah. something to us right now. Yes, and we need to open up our eyes that we can see. There was a, there's, there's a songwriter wrote the words, he said, open my eyes that yeah. I can see. Oh, Father, I thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, I, I thank you for all that we are going through. Because even though we're going through the virus, uh, if, if we recall that when 9-11 happened, we all ran to the church. Mm -hmm. We ran to the pastor. Yes. This, this pandemic said, now nah, I need you to make it personal. You can't yes. run to Pastor Son, you need to run to me. Yes. I thank you, Father, for opening up your arms just like you thank did on the cross yeah. and still standing there saying, I received thee unto me. 
Father, I thank you right now. Amen. Now, Father, just as we are praying, I just want to give a little testimony. I want to thank you for healing my son-in-law. Oh, Touching him in a mighty way, God. Oh, God, he was so down in the press, but you lifted him up. And I thank you, Jesus. I know you can do anything but fail. So again, God, I come to you in prayer. Asking that you would pray, that you would continue to bless our sick and our shut in. Yes. Oh, Father, we want to bless our seniors of this church, brother life, who are struggling. Some willing to want to be in the house of your worship, but fearful of the pandemic for their health condition. Father, we ask that you would just come and heal them. Yes. Remember to tell them sister, that this house is not the church, but they are the church. Yes. Yes. We thank you, Father, for the years that they were here. That the shoulder that we stand on for, not for them, I would be standing before you. So I thank you, Father. We ask that on that 50th day of celebration, there will be a jubilee in this house. Yes. That will blow the windows out. Yes. That we will be standing on 63rd Street and we will raise up your name and give you the glory and the praise. Yes. Father, for we know that this is just the beginning. Yes. For there's 50 more years to come. Yes. And then 50 more years after that. Yes. For our generation has 50 that we have yet to get to. Yeah. So we know that if my grandchildren have 50 years that they have to get to. Yes. And so yes. forth and so on. So Father, I thank you, I praise you, and I give you glory. Yes. For it's in your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. I'm asking Jesus to bless you to follow yes. and to continue in prayer for our church and for the churches throughout the community. Not just about brother life, but a partnership with other churches and the ministries and the various uh, challenges that face us. So we thank God for Deacon Reggie. So come on, please lead us in prayer. Thank you, Deacon. Let's bow our heads. Lord, Father in heaven, most holy God, from everlasting until everlasting. Yes, yes, Father. The one who was and the one who is and the one who is to come. Thank you, Father. Lord, we come giving your name to praise this evening, Heavenly Father, Lord, for you are truly worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the majesty in the universe, Heavenly Father, Lord. But even in these times, Heavenly Father, you are still God. And you're still in the blessing business, Heavenly Father. We're just praying, Heavenly Father, that you would lead us and guide us, Heavenly Father, in this time, Heavenly Father, that is so, so much confusion going on, Heavenly Father. People don't know which way to turn, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. For we know that every good and perfect gift comes from you, Heavenly Father. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you for the vaccine, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. That is saving lives, Heavenly Father. Satan is just confusing so many people, Heavenly Father. Just like in the wilderness, Heavenly Father, there was an epidemic of snakes that entered into the camp of Israel. Yes, and was biting people and killing people. But you told your prophet, lift up a serpent on the pole. And anybody that comes and looks up on this serpent, yes. even if they get bit, they would not die. Right. But there were some people that were so confused, Heavenly Father, that they refused to even come and look on the serpent. That's right. And were bitten and died, Heavenly Father. Same thing going on right now. People are confused, Heavenly Father. We have a have what you have given us, Heavenly Father, a vaccine, knowing that it came from you, Lord. Yes. But Satan has confused people, Heavenly Father, and they refuse to partake of the gift that you have given us, and so many are dying, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. People are drinking all type of concoctions, Heavenly Father, yes. things made up of cows and horses, yes. because somebody telling them and confusing them yes. to try something that and, and we refuse to take the vaccine, Lord. We're just praying, Heavenly Father, that you would bring clarity, Heavenly Father, to those that are confused, Heavenly Father. Yes. And save so many lives, Heavenly Father, that are being lost because Satan, the deceiver. Yes, he is. Deceiving people. Yes. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would bless and guide. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. For, for keeping us, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray in Heavenly Father for so many, Heavenly Father, that are sick right now here at Bread of Life, Lord. We pray in Heavenly Father that you would bless those that have lost loved ones during this yes, pandemic, Heavenly Lord. Father. Some to the pandemic and some, Heavenly Father, just to other, other, other cases, Heavenly Father. We pray in Heavenly Father for Sister Bessie Fowler right now, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. 
Pray, Lord, that you will comfort her, Lord. Let her know that you are still God and you are still with her, Heavenly Father. Guide her, Lord. We pray for Sister Ninetta Mitchell right now, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Been on the battlefield for a long time. Have mercy, Lord. Wow. Let her know, Heavenly Father, that you are still God, Heavenly Father, even in the midst of her diagnosis, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Oh, Give us strength, Heavenly Father, to walk yeah. through, Lord. We know that you have the power, Heavenly Father, oh, yeah. to overcome cancer, Heavenly Father. I don't care how aggressive it is or what stage it is in, yeah. you are still God, Lord. Yeah. But I pray that you would encourage her, Heavenly Father. Give her the strength, Heavenly Father to walk this path that she has to walk, Lord. And just praying that bread of life, Lord, that we would walk with her, Heavenly Father. Let her know that she's not alone, yes. that she has a family. Lord, we just thank you, Heavenly Father. We just pray, Heavenly Father, that you would bless and lead and guide so many, Heavenly Father. We pray, in Heavenly Father, for Sister Harrison's daughter, Heavenly Father. We pray, in Lord, that you would bless her, Lord. And Strengthen her, Heavenly Father. We pray in Heavenly Father for all those. And we pray in Lord for Kamaya, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord, yes. Pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you would give her the victory, Heavenly Father, yes. over sickle cell anemia, Heavenly Father. Pray, Heavenly Father, that you would be with her, Lord. She's been through so much, Lord, but we know that you have healing, Heavenly Father. Yes, you do. Pray, Heavenly Father, for those right now, Heavenly Father, that are struggling with the virus, Heavenly Father. Pray, Heavenly Father, that you would give them the victory over COVID-19, yes. Heavenly Father. Yes, oh God. Lord, we just pray, Heavenly Father, that you would bless our children, Heavenly Father, yes. as they go to school, Heavenly Father. Yes. Watch over them and protect them from the virus, Heavenly Father. Yes, oh God. Lord, we just pray that you would guide those, Heavenly Father, that are in charge, Heavenly Father. Yes. If we need to close down, Lord, we pray that you would give them the guidance to close it down, Heavenly Father, if it's going to save our young people, Heavenly Father. We're just praying, Lord, for guidance right now, Heavenly Father. They brought in a new CEO over the schools, Heavenly Father. Pray that you would give them guidance, Heavenly Father, that he would be able to make the decisions that are going to be beneficial for our, our children, Heavenly Father. We're just praying for each and every one, Lord. Heavenly Father, these and other blessings we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anybody believe in God, give our prayers. Hallelujah. 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 And so I thought I saw Kachandi here. I think he may have left. Um, but I want um, uh, Sister Lily to come, and she'll be the uh, last person to pray. And, and for her to pray as the Lord leads her to pray. Um, as we think about this time, um, and you pray as you desire to pray, Lily. But so many are going through right now. Um, this psychological warfare is occurring. Mm -hmm. uh, so many are suffering from depression mm -hmm. and fear and loneliness. We want to be in prayer. Uh, Deacon Ranchi spoke of some that's sick and shut in. We want to continue to pray for them. Pray for the hospice family. Yes. Uh, Tamika Hoskins, who also have a virus. We're praying for you. We're praying for the family. We're praying for the matriarch of the family, Sister Hoskins. We pray for you. God is able. We're praying for Mark Robinson. You can read you mentioned Kamaya. You mentioned Sister Bessie, who lost her husband. We think about so many grieving families as hurting, but I still believe that our God is in control, and that's why we come and pray. Anybody believe that prayer works? Yes. So I'm gonna ask the little comments to, to close us out in prayer. You pray as the Lord lead, for we definitely need prayer in our lives. Come on, Sister Lynn, bless you. Father, we continue in prayer. We continue to bless you and to honor you. We continue yes. to give you the glory and the praise that you so deserve. Yes. Mighty God that you are. Mighty and powerful in all your ways. Yes. God, you have heard our cries on tonight. God, you have heard us cry all day today. 
Yes, this was Lord. a day of prayer from yes. 6 a.m., Lord, even to this time we end. Yes. You've heard our cries, God. Yes, you Lord. see our hearts, Lord God. Mm. Oh, my God. We cry to you because you're able. Yes, you are, Lord. You are able, Lord. You can do what we cannot do, what man cannot do, what the doctors cannot do. Oh, God, you're able. What the leaders can't do, what the president can't do. What the, uh, God, you're able. That's why we cry out to you. Oh, we're so glad that we're your children and you've invited us to come into your presence, Lord, to lift up our request to you. Let them be made known unto you. Yes. Because you can do something about them. Yes. And for that we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, you're not short on your word. God, when you send your word, things happen. Yes. Miracles take place. Yes. Wonders are performed, oh God, when your word is sent. So we just thank you, Lord. We're so grateful for the word of God. We want to have it in our hearts. That we don't sin against you, Lord. We want the word to come up instead of the sin. Yes. So we just thank you, Lord. Again, we're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. Hallelujah. Oh, God. God, I, I, I just feel like. Thank you, Jesus. We have to shout it out sometimes. Yes. We're holding so much in. Yes. Yes, Holding so much in. Sometimes we just gotta shout. Yes. We just gotta shout it out. Hallelujah. Let it out. Hallelujah. Oh God. <laughs> and it, it's good to know that even when we don't have the perfect words to pray, the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. You are praying. You are taking our feeble words yes. and you're taking them to the Father, interpreting what our hearts are trying to say. And we thank you for that. Oh, we thank you for that. I don't have any words, Lord. I don't have the right words to pray for your people, for myself, for my house, my community, those that are sick, those in the hospital, those in the school, our children. God, I don't have the words to pray for them. I wish I had it, God, but I don't. But God, you enveloped us but my God my God you brought us out thank you, thank you. you opened our eyes thank you, you let thank us you. see those things that we were stumbling at and now we can go around them we can go over them <laughs> we can go through them hallelujah, hallelujah. because of Jesus Christ not yes. because of us let us decrease so God and you increase yes. increase in our lives we need you we need you. Let us humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord, so that you don't have to humble us. <laughs> Let us humble ourselves. Let us humble ourselves. God, I'm grateful for this hour of prayer. I'm grateful for all the things that we are praying about, this COVID-19. Is it too hard for you? <laughs> There's nothing too hard for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so... Whatever we are to learn while yes. we're going through this troubled time of COVID-19, let us learn those lessons. Start with me. Start with me, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We've taken for granted, Lord, your salvation. We've taken it for granted. And I'll be the first to admit, Lord, yeah. We read your word, we study the word, we pray, we get on, we come together in prayer, but we take things for granted. Mm. We take it for granted, but forgive us. 
I'm so glad for repentance. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You said if we confess our sins, you're faithful, you're just, you'll forgive us, you'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a mighty God we serve. How good you are. Oh, you're so good, Lord God. And then to think you take our sins and you cast them in a sea, you forget about them. Thank that are on Facebook and on the phone that have their request, Pam Credit, Lord, uh, you've heard her cry yes. and we're going to stand in agreement with her that yes. you would give her the desires in that prayer. Joanne Myers, Lord, yes. you've heard her cry. Clement Greer, yes. Father, you've heard her cry. Yes. God, oh God, we're going to stand in agreement with those that have put out yes. Duvall, London, you've heard his cry. Yes. God, we're going to stand in agreement because you said if two of us would agree about anything on earth, then you would do it for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. So you're our father, and you know how to give good gifts to your children. You said when we ask for uh, uh, bread, you, you won't give us a stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know how to give good things to us. We can trust you, Lord. And I'm glad that we can trust you. Mm -hmm. God, we love you. We love you. Yeah, we messed up, God, but we love you. We love you. God, we don't want to forget our first love. Mm -mm. We don't want to forget that, Lord. We don't, if we've fallen, Lord, uh, remind us, Lord, and help us to repent and help us to come back into that place where you, where we're, you know, in that secret place. <laughs> in that secret place, like Psalm 91 talk about, a secret place with you. God, that's where we want to be. We want to be in that secret place. You and me, you and, you know, me and you. <laughs> you and Tiffany, you and Sister Carol, you and Pastor, you and Brother uh, Gunn, you and Deacon Tyrone, you and yes. Deacon Reggie. God, you and Sister, uh, uh, my dear sister uh, Julia and her daughter. Oh, God, hallelujah! always had illustrations <laughs> and the thing I love about this light is it, it dims uh, it doesn't go all the way off it, it dims mm -hmm. but when it senses movement uh -huh. it shines like the sun 
and illuminates the whole patio. That's prayer. The movement of prayer. I believe that she's able to illuminate our situation to catch the attention of heaven and transform our situation. Anybody believe that? Come on, give God some praise. I'm excited. I believe it. You believe it? Come on, give God some praise ahead of time because we know that there's no failure in him. God bless you all. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for praying for us. And we believe God already to answer our prayer. So we look forward to seeing you all this same time, the same place on next week. God bless you all. Thank, thank you, prayer warriors, for praying with us. Thank you, prayer warriors out there for praying with us. Thank you, those on the prayer conference line. Thank you all. God bless you. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you all for coming. I know it's a sacrifice. So I just give y'all virtual hugs. Uh,